Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome back to my channel and a another video. If you're new here and you've stumbled across my part of the YouTube universe, welcome and I hope you enjoy the content that I put out. I post twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and I mainly post about witchcraft, uh, law of attraction, positivity, uh, with a little bit of beauty and life thrown in for good measure. So without further ado, we are going to get into this video. Hi Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher. Welcome back to another video. You may have noticed that I have a different backdrop. I thought I would try and mix things up a, a little bit and uh, sort of uh, film in a different angle in my room and for once I'm actually not sat on the floor which really makes a difference and hopefully I won't get the cramp that I usually do but if you can hear a whirring noise I have a fan on above my head as it does get really warm like when you're filming so I apologize in advance if you can hear it and it's annoying so so yeah it feels weird it feels kind of weird I feel a bit like oh it's weird I don't dislike it I don't know let me know what you think of filming from this angle whether you're feeling it whether you're not feeling it that would be cool if you could let me know so without further ado let's get on to this video <laughs> i have no idea why i always like go <laughs> that's weird anywho this is just going to be a relatively short one if you see me looking to the side i have actually written some notes so i didn't want to um forget what I was going to say so I'm trying not to look to the side too much but again if it's annoying like I s apologize in advance so this video I just wanted to talk about um if you're not what to do if you're not feeling witchy enough or you have these feelings of like comparison or I mean you get it like in all aspects of your life not just your craft but I particularly wanted to focus on that aspect today especially like with the likes of like Instagram and uh, like Facebook and other sort of witchy YouTubers and TikTok and Pinterest and whatever else you use to um use to sort of interact on it's so so easy to when you see amazing aesthetically pleasing posts on Instagram and stuff with like all the re like the really cool backdrops like awesome sort of tools and stuff and then it, it can make you feel like it can make you feel like really shit and you're just like well like I only have really basic stuff and I feel like I'm not um witchy enough so I thought that I would do a little video to tell you that you are awesome and witchy and good as you are but, I mean witchcraft is not a competition it can feel like it oh for sure like literally I have so much um envy and stuff sometimes like when I'm watching YouTube videos or I see amazing Instagram posts of like people's like houses and stuff and they're like my witchy house and I'm just like oh and they show like such amazing stuff and they have these elaborate like ritual rooms and like spare rooms that are like basically like library like with floor to ceiling bookcases full of like witchy books and really cool stuff and I'm just like oh my god I'm so jealous but sometimes I have to like take a step back and remind myself that it's not a competition like the stuff I have is more than adequate and is is like is good enough for me just like what you have 
is more than adequate and good enough for you and what you do and your craft and also for example you may be envious of what you see like in my videos or my posts I don't know why you would but you might be like like you can probably see like some witchy paraphernalia like in the background but I just wanted to tell you like all the stuff that I have like this year will be my 20th year <laughs> that sounds so weird saying it out loud and it makes me feel so old but this will be my 20 this is my 20th year of being on my path and practicing magic so obviously I uh, in that time I have collected so many books and um different altar tools and all kinds of different stuff so obviously if I've been doing it for like nearly two decades I am going to have a lot of stuff whereas if you have been practicing the craft for two months obviously you're not going to have a lot of stuff and that's perfectly fine and you don't need a lot of stuff but what I'm trying to say is is that you may look at myself and go oh my god she has everything but I have spent 20 years collecting all this stuff but also let me know if you want me to do I was thinking of possibly doing some videos like showcasing like my book like different like books and stuff that I have as I no word of a lie I probably do have at least a hundred books on different magical topics and that is with me having got rid of six bags worth when I did a clear out uh, before Christmas. I donated them, I didn't chuck them away, but that literally, so I have so much stuff and my Amazon wish list is crazy, like with like stuff like saved. I'm like, oh, I want this book and yeah, so I might possibly do that as well if you're interested in seeing sort of different types of witchy books and things I have for like inspiration and just to be nosy, then let me know on that. As I touched on at the beginning of this video, you are divine and awesome, like, as you are. Like, you don't need to be wearing a conical hat or have a really fancy elaborate broom or a awesome cloak or an incredible wand or whatever. Like, you don't need any of that. Like, you are awesome and divine the way you are like all of that is just aesthetic it's awesome and I would love that stuff but you don't need it to practice your craft and to honor the goddess or whatever deity that you um are on your path with you are cool just the way you are and also as well it's important that sort of feeding on for it's not a competition it's also important to recognize that you're an individual and witchcraft and magic and paganism is a very very individualistic thing it's not like the um church for example where you have to do certain where you're supposed to do certain things in a certain way that's the beauty of this faith is that it is so individualistic that you can practice and do things the way that you want to do them so with that in mind you do things at the pace that's good for you you don't need to go 100 miles an hour if that is not you if that's not the way that you not the way that you learn and absorb things it's absolutely fine to take things slow I mean some people they do go 100 miles an hour and they can, they're able to just absorb, like be hit with loads of information and absorb everything at once and that's just how, how they roll and how they learn. But for other people, they like to, they learn better by taking it slow and doing things at a different pace. So it's important to remember that to do things at your, in your, at your pace, in your way. And also as well, like, again, with witchcraft and paganism being so um, individualistic, like, each witch is different. And that's cool. We should be celebrating your differences. Like, your differences are cool and they're what make you you and what make you unique. And we need to remember that instead. Of, and, and you need to remember that instead of trying to conform and trying to, th to fit what you think a typical witch should be like you are awesome the way you are like please don't forget that and I'm guilty as well because sometimes I 
do that as well like I just compare myself to others and stuff and it is a really hard especially if you've been doing it for such a long time it is a really hard habit to break out of but if you but please remember that you your differences are what make you you and what make you cool and also as well like through life obviously life's like a roller coaster and we have all these like ups and downs and things like that and there will be times where you will go through what I like to call magical or spiritual slumps where you just don't feel like practicing your your path at this time like you have whatever going on in your life and you're either too busy or exhausted you just don't feel motivated you're down whatever the reason like it's okay to take a step back and to not be practicing and you not practicing does not make you any less of a witch like I hate occasionally I've seen like posts online and youtube videos and things like that saying that if you're not practicing if you're not doing whatever every day like you are lazy and you're not you're not a real witch but i just want to call bullshit on that because you are a real witch and just because you've taken a break for whatever reason it does not mean that you're any less of a witch and when you feel ready you will pick back up where you've left off and also your magic is valid and what i mean by that is your brand of witchcraft is just as valid as somebody else's brand of witchcraft again going back to just because it's just because what you do may be different from somebody else's like your brand of magic is just as valid as their brand of magic it's valid to you because you're you and that's how you interpret the world and how you are going along your path so don't ever forget that and also as well on especially more so i think if you put yourself out there say you document some of your practice and stuff like on like instagram or facebook or youtube or whatever you use you may occasionally get um, sort of like negative comments about your path or your practice like maybe um the person commenting feels like that's not how you celebrate this or do that or whatever like it's um very important. super annoying like i was like on a roll then <laughs> like with what i was saying and my memory card was full and i was like oh damn i haven't deleted anything for a while and I thought I could get another memory card out and put it in. But I thought by the time I do that, I may as well just delete a couple of things so I can carry on. So I apologise if it doesn't quite flow because I got interrupted right in the middle of a flow. So, oh yes, yeah, so I was saying again about how if you document some of your uh, life on online, like your sort of uh, witchy practices or you speak to, you have... Um, which inclined friends or whoever or not or anybody like if somebody makes like an, a negative comment about you and your magic and your craft whatever that whatever that be from the from if they're from saying oh i don't believe that witches are real or i don't think you should be doing this like this or whatever like that negativity is more a reflection on them and their mindset than it is on you so and i know like people's negative thoughts and negative vibes and stuff can be hurtful but it's important to try and as best as you can brush them off and just you do you and their negativity should not impact what you're doing and also i feel like i've rambled on enough for this video but the final point i wanted to touch on is that again I th I think that you're amazing like literally like I love all the people that watch my videos and I love all the people that I interact with like on Instagram or on YouTube comments or Facebook or TikTok or whatever like I think that you're amazing and you're valid and you are a kick-ass witch so please don't ever forget that and so that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I would love 
if you could give this a like if you have and to comment below and also if you're new to my channel and you've just stumbled across the video i hope you enjoyed it and if you feel called to please subscribe as you and hit the notifications bells you'll get notified when i post new videos which are twice a week on wednesdays and fridays so thanks very much for watching and i will see you next time in my next video keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.